This is Bishop Dr. Truman Burst. Master Burst. Uh, coming to you from Good Shepherd Ministries. Thank you very much for, for joining uh, another edition of Discoveries in Health, uh, a, a discussion about natural remedies and what they're used for, how to use them. Uh, and uh, yes, you can even get a coach to coach you personally uh, to better health. Uh, Doc Miles will be joining me uh, in about 20 minutes, and uh, and and he and I uh, both do the same thing. We will personally coach you for a one-time donation into our organization. He, he takes it as a fee because uh, he is a naturopathic doctor with a clinic uh, in Georgetown, Texas. And that's what he does. If you uh, call him up and you want to uh, uh, get information from him and, and uh, a consultation, uh, then he will consult with you and he will help you uh, until you are well. And uh, he charges $100 one time. Now, that's very unusual. And, and, and as for myself, I'm an herbalist. I'm a graduate ethnobotanist and phytotherapist with two PhDs, and uh, I'm a master herbalist and uh, a chartered herbalist and a master of herbology. I'm also an ordained minister and, and a certified bishop, and, and, and with all, all of these things that, that, uh, that we do, uh, we, I, I do that. I coach people until they're well. If they come to me and they, they want to know about natural remedies and, and uh, what herb to take uh, and how long to take it, I will coach them. And they call me over, they call me over and over until they're uh, educated and knowledgeable uh, about how to use natural remedies and, and and it's a blessing to serve the Lord uh, in this way and I'm going to bring up uh, I'm still opening up a few windows so while we're, while we're waiting uh, for people to to arrive but I wanted you to know that that uh, I will coach you I can only coach so many people uh, and I've got a, a lot of people right now that I am helping and coaching. And again, uh, what I ask is that you sow into this ministry. The name of my ministry is Good Shepherd Ministries, and I am the Bishop of Good Shepherd Ministries. I love the Lord, and I'm, I'm called to, to help people uh, with natural remedies, and I do that. And, and to keep the ministry going, I ask for a donation, a one-time donation to uh, keep the ministry going so that I can do these broadcasts uh, and be joined with uh, Doc Miles and all you wonderful people uh, for these d discoveries in health uh, uh, broadcasts. I'm going to bring up our Google Hangouts right now and and uh, join that as well. There we go. Now we've got live audio video, and so let's let's uh, go like that, and then oh, let's bring it over here. Okay, I'm still loading a few things up. You know, I know what I need to do. I need to take this over here, and I can do this. Come on. Uh, maybe not. All right, I can 
think I can. Okay, I'm trying to grab my... Okay, let's uh, do it like that then. Do it like this. And do it like that. Oh, still won't do it. Okay, let's see if I can bring it over here. Ah, it started to move that time. There we go. Oh, this is kind of difficult sometimes. And now I've got that. And I've got everything, as a matter of fact. So now I can grab that and bring it over here. And I'm setting up a screen capture system here while we're waiting for uh, more people to, to show up. And I need to minimize that and shrink it down, put it over there. Ah, oh, there we go. Then I can bring all of this over here, about like so. All right, now we've just, what I'm doing is I'm making a video, folks, and I'm putting the screen capture together so we can see everyone in the room. We can see uh, the discoveries in health uh, tabs. We can, uh, so whatever we're presenting or talking about, if we're over in the herbalhealthreview.com uh, website uh, that is all of the, uh, information um, and and uh, soon there will be my book over there uh, on the herbalhealthreview.com you'll be able to get the uh, herbal descriptions uh, book uh, and uh, and there's still a lot of information that there's up there now uh, but under common conditions when you're on herbalhealthreview.com under common conditions you'll see that uh, there are all these reports and <clears throat> and all these re reports uh, well they uh, they uh, are about abscesses and acidosis and acne and adrenal fatigue and alcoholism and allergies and alopecia uh, Alzheimer's disease anemia uh, anxiety depression and PTSD arthritis and rheumatism and asthma and bronchi bronchitis and autism and autoimmune diseases and low immune system and on and on backache and bad breath and halitosis I mean there are so many of these reports and I keep adding more and more reports <clears throat> and and I keep <clears throat> taking the reports that are already there on herbalhealthreview.com and updating them constantly. Uh, it's a labor of love. It's 56 years. It's the culmination of 56 years of research. And it's all published and it's all free. There is nothing you can buy on this website. Absolutely nothing. You, there's all this information. And when you click on any report, if you click on if you click on autism, and, and because, you know, that, that's a report that I'm clicking on frequently lately, is autism. It, then it's going to give you all kinds of uh, herbs and nutrients to work on the brain and, 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 the, uh, uh, and the nervous system and, 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 and the digestion. Because when there's autism and, and memory disorders and so forth, it affects the brain, it affects the, the nervous system, it affects the digestion. And, and so there are a lot of things that we can do to make, to comfort people. Please understand, uh, I'm, not, I'm, uh, I'm not a medical doctor. I, I have two PhDs. I'm an, a, a graduate ethnobotanist and phytotherapist. Uh, and, and I'm an herbalist. And so I, I have natural food is what I use. My food is my medicine. And, uh, and, and evil people in high places are saying that if you use food as medicine, then it's a drug and they're going to, they're going to regulate it. And until it costs you so much money, that you know so if you make if if you use a, a food 
They're calling it a drug if you use it as medicine, and that's insane. So it's, and, and that's what we're doing here, folks. We have a government who does that, and then they persecute and prosecute and vilify uh, people that use natural foods as their medicine. And, uh, and, and uh, it's, uh, it's an evil system. But there's evil in high places, and that's what's going on. So we have to be aware of that, uh, that we're, we're working with a, <clears throat> a, 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 you know, a system that has been invaded by evil in high places, that has poisoned our air, our water, our food, and, don't, and, and, and led everybody into a system of being poisoned to death by drugs that will make you sick, keep you sick, and keep you going back into their system and giving them your money. And that's the total concept, is to keep you lingering sick until they've got all your money, until you're dead, and, they, and they've got plenty of customers because they claim to be the greatest and most wonderful thing that ever happened to humanity, and they're actually the worst. Now, there are times when we need doctors, and those times for, for surgery, for diagnosis, and then use a natural remedy if possible. If you must, then you go to the doctor and you use those poison drugs, but you get away from them as soon as you can, as quickly as you can. You get onto a natural remedy that works with the natural systems of your natural body, and the body heals itself, and you don't need to go to those medical doctors running back and forth and having 18 and 20 and 30 and 40 different prescriptions. It's insane. As a matter of fact, pharmaceutical, the name pharma, Pharma is a Greek word. The Greek word pharma is ph for pharmaceutical. It means sorcery, sorcery, witchcraft, and that's what it is. And they have humanity in the grasp of their bloody fist, and, 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 and they're squeezing it dry. I, I'm, you know, it, and it's a sad thing to watch. And at my age, 76 years old, I've watched it and I've watched it and I've watched these people operate and they're horrible. They're, you don't want to go into these hospitals for any reason. For If you go, go in with a hangnail, you're liable to come out with some bacteria or disease that you never heard of. And then you're in their grasp. And now this is what, and, and this is exactly what I have fought. I have fought it all my life. 56 years I've been fighting this system and, and, and educating myself with natural remedies so I have all kinds of alternatives so that I don't go to a medical doctor, unless I got a broken arm or something like that, which uh, all praises to the Most High hasn't happened. So I just don't go to a medical doctor. I do not take any medications. I do know the natural remedy and how to stay healed and stay healthy. And it took me a long time to learn how to do this. And I'm sharing that information and it's all been published so that it's easy. And it's on herbalhealthreview.com. Herbalhealthreview.com and click on common conditions and you'll see all of these reports. And you'll find something that relates to you. And here's one that relates to everybody. And it is up on top. <clears throat> it's called Make Lifestyle Changes. That is the perfect diet and system to stay healthy, have all the energy that you need, 
and be, be able to enjoy life and your grandchildren, and in my case, my great-grandchildren. Because I have one daughter who blessed me with eight grandchildren who have blessed me with 13 great-grandchildren. And I love them all. And I'm still here to, to enjoy them in complete health. And I can still pick them up and hug them. And, and, and you know, this is, well, it's the littler ones anyway. But, you know, it, 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 it's, it's one thing to live. But it's another thing to live healthy and be healthy and be able to enjoy life and, and not have you know, diabetes, high blood pressure cancer, fibromyalgia, oh, the, the list goes on and on and on. But when you learn about this Make Lifestyle Changes report and you learn about herbalhealthreview.com and common conditions, and then and, and uh, let's see if we can uh, uh, open up the lines here and, and take a call and, and find out, since this is a discussion, Let's find out if someone has uh, a comment or a suggestion. But let me give you uh, the telephone numbers of how to reach people that will help you. Number one, myself. I will help you. If you would like me to be your coach and, and, and consult with you, I will ask you for a donation of whatever amount that you can afford. And if you can't afford any donation at all, I'm going to help you anyway, because that is what the Most High would want me to do, is help everyone, no matter whether they can donate to this ministry or not. But if you can, I'm asking you to donate to this ministry. And when you're on that page uh, of, you know, Common Conditions, you'll see over there on the right, there is a Donate button. And if you press that donate button, it's going to say thank you for donating to Good Shepherd Ministries. That's the name of uh, our ministry. And uh, then you can donate any amount that you would want. If you want me to work with you as your coach and coach you until you are well, I would ask for all the work that I'm going to have to do because what I will do is I will individual, I will speak with you, I will ask you some questions. And as I get to know what's going on, then I, and I'm, and I'm doing all this in prayer. I'll tell you right now, I'm doing everything I do, I do it in prayer. And, 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 and I'm asking you questions, and I'm getting all the information, then I go and I do all the research, then I publish it all in an email in detail. So if I'm talking about an herb, you can click on it and it'll take you over to the website. For instance, if I'm in that Make Lifestyle Changes report, which is the one report that is for everybody, because when you look at Make Lifestyle Changes, it's going to put you on the road to super health. You'll be super healthy. And it starts out with a, <clears throat> but it starts out with, uh, an immune system uh, thing, you, a, a group of products that you use, like B12 and folic acid and liquid sunshine. It'll you, show you how to boost the immune, sink, immune, immune system first thing in the morning. Then it'll show you how to have a delicious power drink that is so easily digestible and is the most delicious power drink ever invented. And, and, and you're the inventor and, and the recipe is there. And if you click on any of the ingredients that are, or any of the uh, products listed there, and then you're going to be looking at them and you'll be looking at the directions and the dosage and, uh, and, and how to use them and any, uh, and, and there will be a disclaimer and all kinds of information. And I just did that. I was over in Make Lifestyle Changes and I clicked on, everyday liquid sunshine because it will increase your immune system. And the research that I have found and have published will say that it, in, that it will slash cancer risk 
by 77%. Just taking this one liquid sunshine vitamin D3 drops. But here's where the coaching comes in. You needed to know that if you take 50, five zero drops, 50 drops for, for 15 days. Now this is confusing, so write it down. 50, five zero drops for 15, that's one five days. Then on the 16th day, you're not taking 50 drops every day, once a day. Then you're just taking 10 drops every day, once a day for life. It keeps your immune system way up. It's a way to recharge your immune system. Just that one product. And, and so I'm looking at it. Because I was over in the, in, in the herbalhealthreview.com. But when I clicked on the product I was looking at in that Make Lifestyle Changes, now I'm looking at the product, the, co the cost of it, uh, twenty-two dollars and ten cents. Uh, you get uh, got get one ounce, and it's got thousands of drops in it. It uh, in, and, but and it says one drop is, is 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 what the serving size is. But that's what it says. But that's not always the way that it is. As a matter of fact, the <clears throat> health food industry no, uh, uh, normally underdoses you. And uh, can't give you the therapeutic dose on the label. Otherwise, uh, a, a big brother uh, would uh, find them, run them out of business, intimidate them, obstruct them from helping you. Um, if they, if you give them, a, if 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 you if a therapeutic dose was on the label. So in most cases, you're underdosed. Uh, but but again, you want to stay with uh, the manufacturer's suggested recommendations, and then you want to talk to your coach, because many times you can take a a larger dose for a very short period of time, and you can then uh, stimulate the body to uh, to to react to it. Then you can back down on the dose because you don't need that much. And then, but then in the case of uh, Vitamin D3, uh, and there's thousands of drops in this one ounce bottle, <clears throat> and uh, and you're going to use uh, probably about two, probably a couple of thousand, uh, and uh, at, is that many? Maybe I'm not sure. Okay, at least a thousand, maybe fifteen hundred. Okay, um, but anyway, so vitamin D3, that's what it does, and the and the and the thing about it is that 50 drops for 15 days really brings up the immune system. But if you left it there, it's going to be too hard on the liver. So you got to know that. And your coach knows that. And so you bring it up, 50, uh, 50 drops of liquid sunshine, vitamin D3, for, for 15 days. And then on the 16th day, you drop down to 10,000. And I know it only says one drop, but we're going to stay at 10,000 because we, because I know that that is a safe and effective way to uh, keep you, uh, well, it's going to slash cancer risk by 77%, just that one thing. And we're doing a lot of things. So that's why we're so healthy. That's why we've got so much energy is because we we're hitting all just the right things and each person finds out what it is that's what it is that they're dealing with that's why we go for a diagnosis that's why then in prayer as i'm talking to you then i know what it is you need and i'm doing the research and 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 then i publish it all in an email so that you've got every bit of the information of what to do, how to do, and why you're doing it. And then I go over to that manufacturer's website that I don't get anything from the sale of any of those products, although I invented those products. But I get nothing from it. I gave it all away because the government was hounding me for over 40 years. 
And the Lord said, give it all away. And I gave it all away to my children, my grandchildren, and my great-grandchildren. Now, they're, now they manufacture it. The be, that's the good news. And they do a wonderful job, and they, they completely comply uh, with, uh, with the government. And they've been hounded and obstructed and, and intimidated, and, oh, it, it, and it's awful what our government does uh, to try to run somebody out of business if they don't like them. And our government does not like health food. They've made it totally, totally clear. They hate health food. And they got a government agency to prosecute, persecute, and intimidate and obstruct them from, from helping people. It's called the FDA. And it's, it's horrible. And it's evil. And it's, and it's, against the it's all against, they are against nature they are against nature and for poison drugs so so that's how this system works is that you you, you can get all this information the directions the dosage uh, what the ingredients are uh, and uh, but the daily dose to barely keep you alive is 1,000 I use per day. Therapeutic dose, 10 drops every day. And uh, then it gives you a disclaimer and, you know, if, if, from the manufacturer and so forth on their website. So that's how this works. That is, that is, that's how this works. Now let's see if I'm, if I'm over here and I'm going to close this down. Oh, go back over to Uber Conference. Okay, let's let's go into the room here. Uh, by now, um, maybe even Doc Miles might have uh, uh, joined us by now. I'm going to go down there and see if he's jo joined us. I don't see him there yet. Okay, if you have a question or a comment or a suggestion or a topic that you would like me to to address, and Doc Miles when he when he comes in, he can help me. And we'll get his two cents on, on every subject as well. So you'll have not only what I know about those natural remedies or whatever you want to talk about. And, and as well, we'll find out what Doc Miles knows about it. That will give you a lot of information. So press your star key on your microphone two times. If you have a question or a comment, join the conference and ask a question. Make a comment, a suggestion. Uh, let's uh, let's open the microphones here. I don't see any microphones opened. Nobody has a question. Nobody has a topic. Nobody has a suggestion. Everybody just wants to listen. <laughs> okay. All right. In that case, all right. We are in that case. I don't know. Are we? Call recording off. Th oh. This call is being recorded. Oh, okay, I had to double check that. Okay, okay, and uh, okay, and and the video is working. And by the way, uh, this this call is being recorded, so that even though sometimes there might the videos might not get posted up there for whatever technical reason, because that is more difficult uh, posting up those uh, those. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, it looks, did I get an open mic? I got an open mic there, 916. Yes, area code 916, you opened your mic. How can, what, what would you like to talk about? Um, I had a question in regards to sciatic pain. I, I've been dealing with this for about six to eight months, and I was recently um, given some information from a sister friend of mine regarding some teas that could possibly help. Um, but I wanted to, you know, get your take on sciatic pain and, and what it is that I could do in regards to that. It runs across the, my lower back down my right leg to my knee. Uh, across your lower back. Okay. Yes. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm getting, uh, I'm getting the message that that is radiating from both your kidneys and it's going down into you, and, and it's, uh, and so do you have any other kind of a urinary uh, tract problem at all? 
No, I don't. My urine is clear. I drink plenty of water, cranberry juice. Yeah. I'm not a soda person. Yeah. I don't eat a lot of sugary foods or a lot of fried foods. Okay. All right. Uh, that's good. So let's go take a look at uh, sciatica. I, I got your email, and I did answer, yes. I did answer it. <clears throat> and and I did try to call you today, but for some reason or another, the phone number wouldn't go through, and I didn't. I, I don't know why it just didn't go through. But I'll try again uh, later today, and if and if you call me, I'll try to be there in front of the phone. Okay. Uh, but uh, let's get together and talk about sciatica. But in the meantime, let's let's uh, let's uh, see what uh, information that I can bring up on uh, on, okay. on on sciatica so that we can d dis discuss it, describe it, and okay. and let's get to it according to according to WebMD. Uh, come on, WebMD, nerve sciatica uh, causes and treatments. Okay, we're going to take it from there. Okay. Uh, causes and treatments. Sciatica is a common type of pain affecting the sciatic nerve, uh, a large nerve that's extending mm -hmm. from the lower back down the back of each leg. Uh, and and uh, all right, so let's talk about the symptoms. So, but I wanted to I wanted to make sure that the kidneys were weren't playing a part in this because that's also mm -hmm. the area uh, of the kidneys as well, you know. Mm, okay. Yeah, you got you got a kidney on each side at the at, at the lower back, and a lot of times people have lower back pain and they think, oh, I got a backache. You got a kidney ache is what you got, especially if mm. if there's uh, any other urinary tract problems. So mm -hmm. uh, we just. Uh, I just always want to make sure that we're not we're ruling everything out. So So when I say doctor, when I say lower back, it's like right kind of at that tailbone area. Right. Right. That, yeah, so maybe it's a little lower than the lower back and it runs right across the tailbone kind of right at the hip is right. where the pain is. Uh-huh. Yes, yes, a burning or tingling down the leg. And hip pain. Yes, that, Weak, that's what it feels like. Weakness, numbness, a difficulty moving the leg or the foot. A constant right. pain, constant pain on mm -hmm. one side uh, of the rear. A shooting pain that makes it difficult yes. to stand up. Sciatica. Right. I, I almost feel like I need to stand up rather than sitting. I feel like sitting adds more pressure. Standing kind of relieves the, the pressure. Yes. And uh, sciatica usually affects only one side of the lower right. body. Often, yeah. uh, quite often, the pain extends, it extends from the lower back all the way down through the back of the thigh and down through the leg, depending on yeah. where the sciatic nerve is affected. The pain may also extend to the foot or the toes. Uh, for some mm -hmm. people, the pain from sci sciatica can be so severe and debilitating. And uh, for others, yeah. the sciatica pain might be infrequent or and irritating, uh, but has uh, uh, has the potential to get worse. Okay. Sciatica, let's see, da, 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 nerve pain. And uh, so... Uh, have you what is the what is the what does the MDs tell you about it? So I, I did go and they told me to do like stretches. They did complete blood workup, and my kidneys are fine. My glucose levels are fine. Good. Um, you know I have gained um, some pounds over the past year because of some personal issues, and I thought maybe that had something to do with it because I've never suffered from this before like I've suffered I'm suffering from it now these past like eight months 
So they just said stretches and like Epsom salt baths. You know, I could do Epsom salt, do stretches, you know, try not sitting, but standing. I mean, so I've been doing all of that. And of course, you know, I don't want to take Motrin, but it's almost like I have to take it in order to get through the day to work. Yes. Doc Miles has joined us, folks. This is Doc Miles out there in uh, Georgetown, Texas. Doc, welcome. Uh, Doc Miles is a naturopathic doctor uh, who has all kinds of uh, treatments. And Doc, uh, I I know you've been listening. Uh, uh, Please uh, chime in. Okay. I'd like to see her blood work and we can figure out what's causing some of these issues. So, you know, because I'm the only one in Texas that does this special program and and mainly, very few of us across the country is doing it. So, how can I, I get can that to you, you? You can fax it to me. What's your fax number? Five one two. Five one two. Eight six eight. Uh huh. Nine eight four seven. Okay. And I'll put a cover sheet with it. Yeah, put a cover okay. sheet with it. Give me your name, your address, your phone number so I can contact you. And after I run it, I'll contact you and and let you know what I found. And um, I didn't hear what your symptoms were, but, you know, you can always give me a call. Because my my number, regular number is 868-9867. My fax number is 47. My phone is 67. So feel feel free to call me and tell the girl that we talked on the show. And then I'll get on the phone and talk to you and we'll figure out what's going on. And then when I run the report, I'll know exactly what's happening. Okay. Well, and you're Dr. Miles, right? Right. Right. Okay. All right. So so uh, that phone number for Doc Miles, 512-868-9867 is his phone number. And 512 868 Nine eight four seven is his fax number, and his website is theherbdoctor dot org. That's no the, dot net dot net. Oh, oops, I got to change that on my. Oh, I'm loving it. Oh, we got somebody somebody calling here. Hold hold on just a minute while we bring this in there. Uh, yes, uh, Crystal, yeah. we're doing the worldwide broadcast. Would you like to join us in that broadcast? Uh, is it over the phone? It, it, it's, you're on right now. You're on, you're in, you called me, and you're in the broadcast. Oh, okay. I didn't know. <laughs> Every Thursday <laughs> from from 3 <laughs> until 5. Uh, so how are, how are you, Crystal? Uh, how are you, Crystal? Um, for the most part, I'm okay, but something weird happened this morning, though. Oh, okay. Where uh, I've been for the past it, it, couple of days. What's going I've on? Been, for the past couple of days, I've been having, like, pains in my uh, stomach. And then, um, you know, after that, I started to kind of feel, I've been feeling numbness, too. But then in my head started to bother me again. And... This morning I woke up, I, you okay. know, kind of moved my hand some, and I saw, like, this line or, like, after image or something. And when I got up, I saw, like, something happening to my vision for, like, a couple of seconds where it seemed like it was kind of like tunnel vision almost. <clears throat> like, it was, like, it was kind of spreading or whatnot, and it kind of just went away at a couple of seconds. And I didn't know, uh, Go ahead. I was wondering... If because I've been taking, you know, herbs or whatnot, uh, you know, blood thinner, uh, thinning herbs. And I know people with uh, uh, liver issues kind of have a problem with bleeding, too, internally, I guess. And I was wondering, is that kind of one of the reasons that could that could be happening as far as my vision and stuff? It, it sounds like you've got a lot of other issues going on, that, and, and it would really be a good idea to get a... Uh, to call Doc Miles and get some blood work done, and 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 uh, let's let's go a little bit deeper on this because 
what you're doing uh, is your <clears throat> is you really need more information. The medical doctors can't help you. They're not helping you. Uh, you 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 tried a few different herbal remedies, but you're not getting you're not getting to the bottom of the cause. We need yeah because we need I don't know it was like or, I don't know if it was like internal bleeding or something. But then I took some cayenne or whatnot to see if that would help. And it's like all of a sudden when I take that, I feel woozy and I don't really feel good. When you use that cayenne, you might use it with some ginger. It, that that will that will make it easier on the on the digestion. But I but I really suggest that we you dig deeper here. Let's get let's get some more information so that we can find out where we're going so we can use and select the correct remedies so that so you can get over this because you're you're not getting where you need to go. So um, do you have Doc Miles's telephone number? Uh no, I don't. It's five one two eight six eight five one two. That's five one two eight six eight nine eight six seven. Let Let's dig a little uh, deep. Let's, let's dig a little bit deeper here, okay? You said uh, five one two six what? Eight six eight. That's five one two eight six eight nine eight. Six seven. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. My pen is like going. I mean, something is going out. Five one two six. Oh, eight six eight. Nine eight, eight. six seven. Five one two eight six eight nine eight six seven. Five one two eight six eight nine eight six seven. Okay, I got it. Okay. All right. Uh. So yeah, give him a call. Let's get let's dig a little deeper here, okay? Okay. All right. Bless you, sister. Okay, thank you. 